And we're back, everyone, to my Let's Play Fair series of Dishonored. So now that we capture Sokolov... Well, they set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. So yeah, we have some. Well done, Corvo. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machines. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. So, now is a good time to get some sleep. But, uh... <laughs> Meh, I might as well go look around. Explore. And there's a bone charm. Wonderful. Don't worry. We won't start the interrogation without you. I'm normally I'm a natural philosopher, but today consider me a royal physician is badly shaken here up. to serve. I'll have the servants serve. Yes. You. I have boot stealth. Boot stealth. Reduce footsteps out. I don't see why I wouldn't buy that. Eh. And why else am I gonna buy? I have like 2,000, nothing really to really spend it on. I guess I could buy crossbow bolts. And some spring razors. Yeah, sure, why not? Still have a lot of mine left. Yay. Take a night's rest, Upgrades. and then you can help interrogate. Take a night's rest, it says. Now that we have Sokolov as a I guest, ask him how... Hi. Corvo, can I tell you something? I have a secret retreat nearby that may come in handy if the city watch ever kicks in the doors. It's an abandoned apartment across the street from the bar. I don't think anyone else here knows about it, but I'm guessing I can trust you. The key is stashed under my bunk upstairs. If there's ever trouble, you can go there for safety. I know I will. Well... Thanks. Lord Pendleton has departed for the evening to attend to matters at the manor. It concerns the departure of his brothers. Oh. I'm sure you understand. Autograph is back. Lord Pendleton, Memoirs, Chapter 41 in which I bed two of the Boyle women, and only missed the third by virtue of some inclement weather. It was the month of rain, and to counter the gloom, the Boyle ladies hosted three nights of merriment by invitation only. Lydia was most fetching in lavender pants and a tunic of yellow silk. She was pleased with me from the moment I walked in the door, with my manservant bringing not one, but two cases of effervescent wine from the south. In fact, I had come laden with gifts, such that all three Boyle women soon took notice, and they set out to make me more than welcome. We uncorked the wine right away, and as night fell, we... Wallace! Confound these interruptions! Okay, then. Oh, hi. 
Well, I don't know. I'm way, Admiral. I'm here to spy on things. Where do I find a good meal around here? If you think prison food's bad, you should see what the We're Abbey says to reach our goals. But our I think the overseer is making dangerous. themselves. You don't house and feed a half dozen people without leaving telltale traces. Riverboats pass day and night, and the looters are going to start gathering once they're sure the plague has burned the place out. I conclude, if our enemies are not dead by the month of wind, we will be. There's a sadness in Emily, but she's strong. Weathering the death of her mother just a half a year ago better than most grown men I've known. Once we take Dunwall Tower, I'll see that her life is better. I've always thought that I'd command the Navy in her name, but sometimes I wonder if I shouldn't just take the title Lord Regent and do it properly. Right, I'm seeing a plot in the midst, you know. Anyway, he has returned now with Anton Sokolov over her shoulder. Simply amazing how I can call for project lethal force. I can do a strategy that I didn't think possible, and soon the two greatest minds of the Empire will be here together. I can get these drivers to cooperate, they could create weapons and tools of unimaginable power. If I could command both of them, well, I'll wait and measure the dispersions towards one another before following that line of thought. I'm really starting to see where this is going. Give me a length of rope and a bucket of seawater. That's all I need to break them. Okay, so under your bunk. Attention, Dunwall citizens. You are required right. to boil yeah. any That's water from public fountains or the river. Anyone who has consumed untreated water must be reported to the watch. So where is this apartment you speak of? Not that one. Not that one. Not till. Probably this one. Ah, with the bone charm. No wonder she told me about. Okay, so what did I pick up? Rats attack you only when you walk closer. Okay. I can work with that. So yeah, loot. I don't really trust that. Oh. Anymore, he I mean, yeah, he sounds suspicious, doesn't he? Like, oh, if I could get them working for me, I'd have powers unbelievable, unimaginable. I could take the position of how Lord Regent myself. And then I'd be a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, so put that away. Why is it put that away? Please be as quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Poor dear. It's okay, Emily, I'm here. She seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do. Out there in the city. Can at least cover a blanket or something. Please, please leave a candle for me. I, it gets dark in here and I, I can't see my mother. I just want a candle. Where is Corvo? She still uh. has bad dreams, though it's understandable given all she's been through. Sometimes she calls out your name, sometimes she cries for her mother. 
Not yet, Emily. I should probably head to bed myself. God, this dies. Oh, yeah, time to rest. Maybe I'll see the outside again or something. Or maybe I'll about just go to the next day. And then go interrogate what's his face. Yeah, it's successful drop assassination. <laughs> it's falling damage and makes no sound. Lawyer physician Anton Sokolov is now in the custody of the lawyer. Through Sokolov, it would be possible to strike directly at those closest to the Lord Regent. How corrupt will the most brilliant man in the Empire be? He must be swayed or concealed into telling what he knows. Corvo, wake up! You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. Hello, Emily. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Ah. Callista will ah. come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. So Emily wants to spend time with me, despite the fact that I am a sociopath. So I wonder. Was that the end? Do that, Carvo. <laughs> right. Ah, <sighs> one thing about modern get well, most games nowadays is children cannot be killed. Like, for example, she is protected by some. I I don't even. She survived a grenade. She didn't even flinch. Hey, I want to do that. What? Apparently, she wants to throw bottles at herself. I, I... Right. Well, I probably should talk to her. Okay, I can't talk to her. Okay, well. Yeah, it's nice. Hi, Lydia. Well, Mr. Sokolov has certainly recovered. A good night's sleep has left him with an appetite. I'll be sure to show Anne some stuff senses? or something. No, I'm just jumping off of things. You know me. Yeah, what are you doing? I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers 
shaped like snowflakes. Right. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. Well, it's your art, it? Yeah, I realize, right. well, everything you're thinking, I already realize. I'm a natural philosopher, but that doesn't mean I'm not a gentleman or I try to be. The young lady Emily was trying to sneak into your quarters while you slept, sir. I don't think she meant any harm. By officers oh, of the watch, fine. display oh, so. your pride in Dunwall. Protecting the property and rights of others. Spying. And preserving the timeless beauty of our fair city. And I think really noticeable, is it? So can I just barge in now? Can't you see I'm about to bathe? <laughs> Corvo, under other circumstances, I assure you I might welcome your advances. But rats, plague, and tyranny have a way of killing the mood. Ah, but, but... I can't believe this. When I took this job, they told me I'd work with good men. Okay. Thank you for being a gentleman. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ah, stupid internet disconnecting. Anyway, okay, bye. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Bye. You are required to boil any water from public fountains or the river. Bad Anyone who has river. consumed er, er, damn disconnect. Now try for Yahoo to log back in. Yay, Yahoo. Stupid thing. Water must be reported to the watch. Uh. Good morning, Corvo. I believe Sokolov is awake now. The Admiral is with him now. I'm sure they are ready to start on your arrival. <laughs> Say what you will, the royal physician knows his wine. Okay, so. Nah, I should go for some PL. See if he has anything new. I'm just gonna get an interruption one more time, Billy. I'm grateful for your discretion in the technical matter we spoke of. Right. What will I say when Sokolov has passed at his funeral? Uh, yes, bloody interruptions. Something like this, perhaps. Sokolov is dead. Gone forever. We were rivals at the Academy, yes. He was jealous of my agile brain and youthful energies. But he's dead now. And what can I say about him? Sokolov, he did improve on some inventions. He did well for himself in his way. He had many admirers among the aristocracy, especially those who lack a solid background in matters of natural philosophy. He was a painter of portraits. I'm grateful they say for the discretion his work was technical genius. matter we spoke of. That remains to be seen. Time will tell. Aren't there any more audio logs? There's a sure, why not? Attention, Dunwall Hi. citizens. First, you joined us, then Overseer Martin, then Lady Emily. 
Ah, it's all right. Gone. More dishes and laundry for me. At least make them feel safer. No need to log entries. And his thing's gone. Where did they put those things? I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. I see. Well, let's go and tell you then. Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. Hi. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress, and the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying this city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think oh, yes. there's love between oh, the and now. Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even I if they don't carry you, rats. I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I I've don't heard even see rats. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that what? interests us. There's a thing. I can't we know you painted the portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. You're part of this rabble. But I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Sorry, Sokolov. Not right. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know. I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party. So kill all the lady boys. A masked ball at the Boyle estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. Oh, and the I have a mask. The Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Indeed I yes, do. Yes, you will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. Huzzah. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, We'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent Just himself murder them all, and put Emily on the me. throne. May the wind favor you. Huzzah. I swear I never saw her face. Although I can vouch that her hindquarters are the finest in the city. <laughs> Perhaps the Empire itself. Yeah. Well said. I'll just live all this. I guess there's no room to anything in here. There is that up there, though. Hmm. How to get to that? Down, down. Okay. And then there's this copper wire that's apparently not actually loopable. 
Oh, I'm gonna get buffered, ain't I? Hi. I hear you're off to the boils, little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know no, him. Thank a rather God. brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. Oh, okay. He's in a wolf's mask. Well, the more you know. Have you ever been in a sea battle? Of course. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink any? Of course. Dozens. Oh, yes. But that's not for young girls to hear about. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what Empresses do mostly, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think of course. so. I knew it! I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yes. Uh... Mostly. Maybe we should be quiet now. Very well. Uh, not that silly. This counter is busy. A masked ball. You happen to have the most clever mask of them all. Ha. Huh. We must admire Lord Pendleton's composure in the face of his terrible loss. Everything was so Emily. fancy at the Golden Cat, but in a different way than the palace was fancy. The old Madame Prudence said that all the ladies are princesses and the men come to admire them. <laughs> I doubt that. My doll, Mrs. Pilsen, was there the day my mother died. We both saw it. Ah. I bet Mrs. Pilsen would have liked it there. I hope she's safe, wherever she is. Oh. Yeah. I'm grateful for your discretion in the technical matter we yep. spoke of. I want to talk to you. You require about my lunch. unique services? We can quickly return to my shop. Loot. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I click off screen. Matt's out on those. Gonna upgrade things, but I don't really want to upgrade things. Good, I'm pretty much. I could use more health. That's really cool. Okay. Eh, that'll do. Eh, thousand left over. Okay. Here. So now it's time. To go to the. Masked Ball. Or Lady Boyle's last party. So yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. Thank y'all, and have a nice day.